I remember the tournaments, the championships, the ride to road games, when you forget you're a high school student for a while. But now I'm behind the bench, I'm picking up new things from my students. There's so much you can learn on the field that you simply can't learn in the classroom. I look at my students, the joy on their faces, and that's why I coach.
to the gold medal match for the 2023 Women's AAA OFSA Volleyball Championship. What a great opportunity to have the finals on International Women's Day. Before we proceed, we would like to give a huge thank you to the fans, the athletes and their coaches, the incredible media team, and the officials. The student volunteers for making this tournament possible, and then a special thank you to the OFSA convener and organizer, Brian Hexmer, and his student volunteer, Dylan O'Connell. <laughs> Can all who are able please rise and take off your hats for the singing of our national anthem. Our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Stand on guard for thee. The Simcoe Muskoka Catholic District School Board acknowledges that many Indigenous nations have long standing relationships, both historic and modern, with the territories upon which our school board and our schools are located. We acknowledge our presence on the traditional territories of the, of the Anishinaabek Nation and the historic Métis communities in our region that precede the establishment of our school board. Today, our school district is still the home of many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work together as part of a new relationship on this territory. May we never forget their legacies, and may we learn well the lessons of their descendants have to teach us upon living on this earth. So, on your right, representing GHAC from Ancaster, Bishop Tonos Catholic Secondary School. <laughs> Starting with your captain, number 10, Ava Conley. Number one, Kay Malarzik. Number two, E. Boost. Number three, A. Saravac. Number four, E. Sukin. Number five, K. Lewin. Number six, A. Smith. Number seven, M. Petrie. Number nine, A. Mega. Number eight, O. Sully. Number 12, E. Aleska. Number 13, C. Muick. Your head coach is A. Mega. And your assistant coaches are D. Saravac and A. Howell. On your left, representing LOSSA from Pickering, Dunbarton High School. Your captain is number nine, Ava Voss. Number 24, E. Cameron. Number 11, A. Crowley. Number 26, V. Dinbo. Number 17, L. Harrison. Number 14, A. Claire. Number 13, E. Kozak. Number 10, S. Luong. Number 7, S. McDermott. Number 3, K. Rinnard. Number 25, L. Rind. And your coaching staff is T. Spudnik and A. Burke. Your referees for this evening are Shannon Walters, Rick Bianco, and on the lines we have Colin Scheuer and Jeff McEwick. Score keeping, we have Victoria Randall. And on the sheet, we have Ava Serbeck. On your three ball system, we have Matt Mowbray, Jason McPhee, and Ben Kelly. 
This is a quick reminder that this is a fair play facility and tournament, and we have student volunteers as well as our athletes. So we'd like to remind you that there, if you um, or any of your people around you say disparaging comments to our players or our volunteers, then you will be asked to leave the facility immediately. Thank you all for coming, and good luck to your athletes. And welcome to the 2023 Offsa AAA Girls. The 2023 Offsa AAA Girls Volleyball Championship underway. The gold medal game between the Dunbarton Spartans from Pickering and Bishop Tonis Titans from Ancaster, Ontario. We are at St. Joan of Arc Catholic High School here in Barrie, Ontario. Thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure to be here. My name is Cam Brown, joined by Tim Hassanak and Chris Ford of the St. Joan of Arc Knights. And uh, what an amazing tournament has been culminating in this gold medal game right now, guys. The energy has been absolutely fantastic here in this gym tonight for this gold medal match. We've got fans from both parts of, of, the, of, the, of the province here, from Ancaster, Ontario, on Pickering, and they're just bringing the energy level top shelf. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so excited, excited to see some, some, uh, see some, some fantastic volleyball here today. today. We, we have got, got the top two teams in the province for the senior girls. Uh, I'm, I'm just super excited for what we're about to see. Uh, the skill level is off the charts, and these teams are going to be very equal. Uh, I just, uh, I'm, I'm just so excited to see what's, uh, what we're going to have in front of us. As you mentioned just a second ago, Tim, the energy level here is, uh, it's astounding right now. All four locations here in the Simcoe County area. We'll get to what other schools hosted in just a little bit, but right now here at St. Joan of Arc, just about to get underway. And, uh, I think it's uh, in, in great recognition of International Women's Day. We have our provincial girls AAA Offset Championship on International Women's Day. And then it's, we have our head referee, Shannon Walters, will be referee number one for tonight's match. <laughs> Service will be to the Bishop Tonus Titans. And Bishop Thomas with the first point of the gold medal match. Both teams advancing earlier in the day, winning their respective games, three sets to one. So, momentum coming into this final. Moran Petri with that first serve, number seven. Just an incredible back set there from Dunbarton. Fantastic uh, coordination in the air. Great finish as well. By the captain, Ava Voss, number nine. Voss has got incredible hands. Uh, she's a treat to watch out there. This block right there. Trying it again this time. It's number seven, Sydney McDermott with that hit. The block right there, Chris. That is what we're about. That's what we're going to see a lot of today. Fantastic back and forth, long rallies, incredible volleyball. Ava Connolly. She was wowing the crowd in warm ups with her ability to hit the ball. Already the athleticism that's being displayed in today's match. Just typical of the entire tournament with this 18 team event. Actually, Tim, we had 20 teams this year in this uh, edition of the 2023 Senior Girls Off the Ball. 20 teams in a large number. Probably most definitely. Saved by number 41. Great, Great swing there by Connolly, the, uh, the middle for uh, Bishop Tonos. She, she looks, looks like she's standing, standing probably at least six foot two, six foot three. Incredible athlete. Massive hit right there. It's like second. Yeah. 
right, right back at it. Emma right there with another big hit. You guys, I don't need any more incentive for the gold medal game. This is the first gold medal handed out since 2020 as well. So a little extra buzz in the building. Yeah, it's been three years since uh, this officer competition has been competed. Obviously, there's been a bit of a standstill in the world. And there's nothing better to see these young ladies back at it. Giving it their all, working hard for the gold medal. They suck that up right before the shutdown, worldwide shutdown, 2020, March 17th. That was a bam, mega right there with a block that put Bishop Tonis up 7 to 1 early on in a time no call, guys. What have you seen so far? Well, we've got a resounding start here by Tonis. I mean, they couldn't ask for a better, quicker start. 7 to 1 at the first 8 points. Great lead, however, you cannot let up at this point. You've got to push hard to continue on. Uh, I mean, these are all and all it's going to take is, is Dunbar to get two, three points in a row, and this is a whole new ball game again. Sounds like the Titans have the uh, power of the cowbell on their side of the stands as well. Let's just make some noise right now. I got a fever, <laughs> and I need more cowbells. It's going to happen. With the, the Titans ranked eight coming into this tournament, the AC, not usually one to be expected to be in the gold medal game. I think they probably felt a little bit slighted by this ranking. I mean, this is clearly a powerhouse squad. There's nothing wrong with your ranking at 20, but uh, I think they're playing with the chip on the shoulder. Probably, uh, you know, they're up against the number one squad here. As we're sitting right from the start, maybe this might have been a little bit of a mismanaged ranking. Talking to some of the players. And they were knocked out in a quarterfinal match by the dancing Broncos, and they have never played each other. So there's lots to be proven uh, on the court here. So we're just back to the number right now. We're going to have a point. Great, great touch there. That was a Saturday. Uh, they have a night, I mean. She's done that a number of times in the tournament. Beautiful number two ball, quick. No look tip. No look tip, tip, just over the net. Finally, the empty hole. She's not just a powerhouse on the net, that's a beautiful ace serve. This is a game of momentum and a game of runs, and right now you got the Spartans doing exactly what you said. Uh, Coach, Coach Spalding from the Spartans, I mean, that was a perfectly timed timeout. Uh, you know, the momentum was so much in favor of Bishop Tonos, and 7-1 uh, at that point, and obviously, as you can see, it's now 9-6, so perfect timing on that timeout, and, uh, you know, yeah, they've got momentum back on their side now. These serves right now are just eating up 
Bishop Tonis. A little bit of miscommunication there on the back row. Players weren't quite sure who was going to go take that and ultimately caromed off both of them. Sarah Long with her fifth straight point. Another one just barely making it over the netting and doesn't seem like the Titans have much of an answer for it at this moment. Talk about a momentum shift. Like I said, you can't compliment that time out by Coach Spalding. And back at you by number four, Emma Sakan. Packed early on in this game, mentioning her name a few times. Back to a two point advantage. There's that block by number three and number seven of the Dumbarton Spartans, Sydney McDermott and Kiara Rainford putting up the wall. McDermott with the serve. A huge hit right there. Looked like number 17, Lael Harrison. We have a tied volleyball match here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I think the coach of uh, Bishop Tonos, he's got to get his own time out here and get his girls straightened out. Yeah, I mean, this... Uh, this game of runs is really taking a turn from 7-1, now up 11-10. A little unlucky there for the, for the Titans. Just the right amount of English putting it over the net there. Well, the Spartans all of a sudden in the lead, 11-10. Beautiful serve right there, unable to handle it is Mary Petrie as that one goes out of bounds. And now a two-point advantage for Dunbarton. Number seven, Sydney McDermott. Yeah, and there it is, the coach needed to get that timeout. Forcing the timeout by the Titans. Uh, now they're attempting to change this momentum. Sometimes at home you're thinking, you know, really, what, what does the timeout do? But it, it's amazing that just a simple one minute break can completely change uh, the concentration levels, the, the momentum, and, you know, get, clarify a couple of the positional changes as well. Make sure that you're in a better position for that, uh, that serve. But, uh, you know, we are seeing one streaky game, and really, this is kind of what we expected. This thing is going to go real tight right down to the end. Let's uh, take this opportunity to thank the St. John Bark Knights and Mr. Brian Hexamer for taking on this huge undertaking in, in less than a few, four months. And then we have our Holy Trinity media team, Mr. Craig McLaughlin, who is right now uh, showing you some amazing live feed from high school students. That's right. It has been an incredible week of volleyball here in the Sunco Muskoka Catholic District School Board, St. John of Arc Catholic High School, Bear Creek uh, in the public uh, in St. Joe's, and uh, Maple Ridge Secondary also hosting games this week on both sides of the school boards. Serve again by Sidney McDermott. Beautiful Great. dig right there. Big dig by Abby Smith. I've been really impressed by number 17 from the Dunbarton, Harrison. Uh, her timing is impeccable and just power, power uh, galore coming out of that right arm. Solid block right there a minute ago by Alyssa Cervach, but second chance for the Spartans, and they were to put that one away. Also have a fantastic angle on the serve from Sidney McDermott. It's basically coming right at us right here. There's a ton of movement coming on that ball. 14-10 Dunbarton. Who would have thought this five minutes ago? Excellent change of pace there. Uh, you know, it's, it's like I've said before, it's not always about how hard you hit it. The, 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 the aim and the touch is often just as important as that power. Tough call by the official. 
Double head by the setter. A little bit long on the serve there. Good eye on the Spartans, yeah. Kiara Rainford with the serve. Oh, solid dig right there, but that's going to hit the basketball net. Incredible body control there by the uh, Bishop Tono setter, number nine. She's up there contorting herself in all different positions. Incredible hands, too. She's, uh, she, I'm really impressed with her performance so far. Great jump serve by number three of Bishop Tonus, Alyssa Siravac. This game just about deadlocked once again. Oh, what a beautiful adjustment in midair right there. Abby Smith with the huge hit. She had the blockers thinking she was going elsewhere and kind of tucked it down the left line. And we are deadlocked at 15, guys. Nice put away by number six, Abby Smith. Guys, I think we better call the wives. I think we're going to be here a while. This is going to be one tight match. I see this one going five sets. And just like that. The Titans regain the one-point lead. Served by the captain, Ava Vaz. Big hit. Harrison. Better half of the match now. Now this Dunbarton game plan is really effective, but at the same time quite simple. Get it to Harrison. Harrison is a killer over there on that left side. She's the go-to girl for sure. It serves a tough to handle by the captain, number nine, Ava Ross. Since this game started seven to one, it's been a 17 to eight run by Dunbarton. Correction, Ava Voss. Sorry, mom and dad at home. Her libero skills, her offensive ability in that back. She really, really can do Good. able to use either player. Thanks for that clarification, Coach Ford. Coach Ford, women's volleyball coach at St. John of Arc High School. Former volleyball coach at St. Peter's Catholic Secondary School. Graduate of Barry North Collegiate. That's what the diploma says, Tim. I'm happy to be part of this. Two graduates from the area, Mr. Cam Brown, graduate of St. Peter's Catholic Secondary School. Now a teacher at St. Joseph's High School, English and Media. Very lucky to have these young men on staff. Don't forget the smooth vocal cords. Two kind gentlemen, two kind. That's. Uh... Phenomenal honor being here right now, right in the middle of this incredible rally right now. Amazing block. Amazing block and point by the Titans. Now you said that St. Joe's was rocking this week as well. Had an opportunity to check out lots of incredible teams and games and all culminating in this gold medal match. Coming right down to it in this first set. Served by number seven, Marin Petri. Just caught the line just in there for Dunbarton. 
The official call and share calls it in. That go-to girl, Lael Harrison, with that serve. And the put away. Massive hit right there. Good try by Kennedy Llewellyn. A little too much velocity on that smash. That play there was absolutely fantastic. Beautiful jump back set by the setter. And again, another incredible kill. Sarah Lund seemed to come from nowhere. Number 10 from the right side to hit that cross court and it was in. All the, uh, the, sorry, uh, sorry, Ken, the, no, the, no. the Ontario scouts that we've seen in the, uh, in the building from the colleges and universities. They've got to be salivating at this point, seeing the talent out here. I mean, these are some program-changing players. And uh, take, take us inside the, the huddles right now. What uh, we call the timeout for Bishop Tonus. What's, uh, what's going on inside that huddle? I mean, they're uh, letting it slip away a little bit here in the first set. Well, I, I think this is really a, a mental timeout in the sense that you're just trying to get your girls to believe that they can do this. I mean, clearly they start off extremely well and, and had a bit of a letdown, but I mean, from that point on, it's been pretty back and forth here. Uh, you just gotta instill that, you know what, we're only four points down. This set is not over at this point in time, but it's gotta happen right now. You've gotta get this next point. Uh, and, you know, positioning will matter and, and they might have set up one of their uh, go-to plays here, but uh, all in all, I think that was really just a confidence type of timeout. Let them know that they're right in this still. Well said, as Lila Harrison is ready to serve once again for the Spartans. And here we go, 22-18 first set. Nice hit right there. That's Ava Connolly. Yeah, that, that timeout was clearly set up for Connolly. I mean, that was an incredibly run play. It was uh, right from the start. It was clear where they were going. She's, uh, she's, a, she's a force up at that net. Well, Coach Ford, they would have designed that. Absolutely. I mean, yes, sometimes it will depend on where that serve goes to, but for the most part, that was set up. Uncontested right there. And Spartans closing in on this first set. Serve by number 24, Emma Cameron. No surprise there with the put down by number Emma, number four, Emma Sakan. Nice reaction too, big fist pump after that. The depth on this Tono team is incredible. Uh, they, they've got six, seven girls that they jump out of the gym and they are just pure power. Big mistake there by, uh, by Dunbarton with the overhit. Emma Sukan keeps making play after play for her team. Clawing back right now, 23-21, Dunbarton. Ava with the serve. Sneaky little tap in the net there, a little redirect kind of. I like to call that a cheeky little play. Yeah, but, uh, cheeky's a good word for yeah. it. 4-21, served by number 10, Sarah Lung. A little bit of excitement, I think, there. The, uh, the adrenaline was bumping. She hit that one Definitely four feet long. Swore and I heard them say side out from the coach's area right before the serve, almost. Calling that, and they were right. Oh, a nice touch right there. Sydney McDermott. And there it is, Come there's that first set. The Spartans. You gotta give it to Bishop Tonus right there. 
Sam, I mean, they were up 7-1 early and kept it close, but, uh, you know, you get to see exactly what Dumbarton has on their side, and uh, they went on quite the run and put it away in that first set. It's never over till it's over, and that, you know, you're looking at the two best teams in Ontario right here. Bishop Thomas, who is uh, seated number eight, but they've obviously beat some really good teams to be here in this gold medal match. And then you had one of the number one seeds, the Dumbarton Spartans, who's expected to uh, to do exactly what they did. You know, these two teams are certainly putting on a show in that first set. Chris Ford uh, going to be standing by in just a minute. Looks like he's going to be interviewing uh, the coach of the Dunbarton Spartans. Uh, really rolls off the tongue nicely. I mean, whoever coach came up with that coach, name many years ago. Coach, fantastic first set there. Really exciting. You came out on the wrong Florida end of a very close one. What are you going to do to get yourselves uh, and your players pumped up for the next set? Players are pumped up. At this point right now, both sides are going heavy. we got hard hitters on both sides. Passing game is going to win this game. What do you see as the key for this, uh, for this next set to bring some success to your club? I think it's just the energy of the court, smart head game, and start making some good shots. We've got to pass the ball. Thanks, Coach. Right. Good luck. Okay, we got the uh, timeout in between the first and second sets here. We'll take this opportunity, again, to thank our sponsors that make this all possible. We had a great week here uh, in our fan zone here at St. Joan of Arc. We had Derek Vitale and Two Pong, a uh, very innovative new game that's played on the ping pong table. Great, great chance here. And we have to say a special thanks to Impact Healthcare that provided all the training services, and they're here tonight uh, to take care of the services with any issues with the girls as well as uh, the McIntyre group, headed up by Katie McIntyre, former athlete at St. Peter's Catholic Secondary School, uh, who played volleyball, soccer, and hockey there, and was uh, very gracious uh, as part of the RBC Dominion Investment Group to support us. Yeah, we appreciate all the help from the sponsors. Their, uh, their, their, their financial support goes a long way to making these events run, run successfully. Now you, you walk in the building and these uh, offset events, regardless of the sport, and you can just, you know, tell how much the sponsorship means to the schools, to the students, players, families, because it does, it, the atmosphere is just incredible. And, it, uh, it brings a level of professionalism. Sure you know, it really brings a level of professionalism to these, to these events. I mean, the, this is no different than walking into a, you know, a, a professional sporting event in terms of the, the, the production value and the, you know, the signage and, and really, of course, the, uh, the competition level is through the roof as well. It's absolutely vital. And without the sponsors in the community, it's a great opportunity for everybody to come together. We're just getting ready for the second set here between the Dunbarton Spartans and the Bishop Sonus Titans. I mentioned I love that name. I was saying the Dunbarton Spartans. You know, just that rolls off the toes. Goes all the way back to 1958. So. I'd like to hear it with a little Scottish accent. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta work on that. You got uh, one for us? No, no. I, sure? was, I was, I was hoping Cam, you had that one I set know. up, but that's okay. I'm sure like every public school, I'm sure Dumbarton's gone through a few renovations in their time as well. Well, it's funny you say that, Tim. They went, into, <laughs> they went under renovations in the 1990s. New library and a science wing. As important as the library yes. is, how's the gym? It's a fantastic gym and uh, plays host to a lot of practices that help the Spartans get here today. They do have a, uh, a really good athletic program all around. Out there in Pickering, Ontario. I remember from my high school days, uh, Dunbarton was a rugby powerhouse. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I remember taking a few hits. Uh, a few hits to the head right a couple times. Right on cue right there. How's that for a hit to start things off here in the second set? No surprise there, but number 17, Lael Harrison, with that put down. She's definitely the go-to girl on this team. But the depth is exceptional. Service by number nine, the captain, Ava Voss. Great pick up there. With, with Harrison, I think what really impressed me is that vertical. She gets up there. She's obviously a, uh, you know, above average height girl, but she's not as tall as some of the other on the team, but that's irrelevant because that vertical makes up for every inch that she is lacking, maybe in height. Great dig by number nine, the captain, Ava Ross. Harrison's looking for it. Don't think she's gonna get it this time. A little disputed call there, but I think the referee's got a light right. I didn't see a tip on that one. 
The Titans on the board here for the first time in the second set early on. 2-1 Dunbarton. Abby Smith, the serve point on that one. She's another crack at it right here. Great set to Sarah Long, number 10, but just a little long. Great to see this aggressive play by these young women. Mm, tough first ball there. Put that setter in a really precarious position right at the net. She had to be very careful not to touch it, but ultimately, I think we had a, uh, we had a double hit there. Abby Smith, point to the Titans. Just a little lack of concentration there on that pass. Uh, ultimately brought, um, brought her teammate too far outside the antenna. Oh, nice play right there, Harrison, with a good job getting that over the net off the serve. But a real nice touch on the other end. And once again, we're seeing another quick start from Tonos. Uh, you know, the question this time is, are they going to be able to maintain this? It's just like a repeat in game one. But like everything else in volleyball, keeping that momentum. Can the Titans do it? And they are still rolling. Abby Smith still up there right now, serving. I think Coach Spaulding's probably getting ready for a timeout here as well. If this continues, one more point, and I'm calling a timeout. Harrison, nice dig. And that's going to fall back in, so we'll see if they do call that timeout. Up against uh, number 10, Ava Connolly. Yeah, and, there, and there's that they timeout. Past that. Yeah, the timeout was called here at the right time. I mean, some might argue it might have been even a couple points too late, but uh, you do have to conserve those. You. You only get so many. So 7-1 run right now by the Titans. And, you know, this is a, a good opportunity for them to, to talk about it as well and kind of review what they went through in that first set. How do they keep rolling here and, uh, and keep their composure? Yeah, if, I mean, if I'm, if I'm the Bishop Tonos uh, coach here, I'm telling my girls, that, you know, keep swinging. Don't let up. Don't accept the free ball. Don't accept the, uh, the roll shot. We want to swing hard every time. I mean, it's not always going to work, and obviously sometimes you're just not in the right body position to get that kill, but fact is, you know, this is the gold medal match. Go down swinging, right? And, and you know, ma make this team's defense play uh, play the ball, right? It's... Uh, like you're saying, Coach, we're staying aggressive. As we know at this uh, level of volleyball, any free balls, you're going to get it right back at you. 100%. And yeah, you, 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 got, you, you said a great word there. You got to stay aggressive. Just as we saw in the first set, the point right after timeout changes hands. Service number 17, Lael Harrison. Now, this is a crucial point in the set also for Tonos. Uh, you know, well done, Burton has a number of fantastic players. You've got to make your points right now. Well, you got Harrison in that back row. Uh, you know, obviously she's got a back row attack as well, but the fact of the matter is her damage is being done at the net, and you've got this cycle here where she's in the back row. You need to get this lead stretched out as far as possible. Eva Connolly with a nice serve to start that sequence. But that point's going to go to the Spartans right there. And they are trying to claw their way back down 9-4. Not too dissimilar from that first set. Service by Emma Cameron, number 24. <laughs> Point two. Looks like it's to the Titans. Emma Sukan with the hit there. Could not be handled by the Spartans. And they will be... Serving once again. Number nine, Avaya Mega. And that is 
Fantastic kill. Bit indefensible right there, Sydney yeah. McDermott with the, with the match. Number seven, Sydney McDermott. She says, Harrison who? I've got the hops too. she is again sometimes in a situation like that when you're down somebody's got, got to take control of the game yeah. and Sydney yeah you, you got exactly you got to step up and make a play and you know it takes a leader to do that and you know I'm sure a lot of these other girls are looking to uh, McDermott and Harrison uh, you know to really fill that void unfortunate error there on the serve I think the Titans needed that right now as they get the ball back had a few points slip away. You start getting into familiar territory. You find yourself back in your heels. Now the service by Emma Sukan. Backcourt hit. Impressive hit right there by Sarah Leung. Almost fading away on that shot. There's how important, as you can see, in serving in this game there, Coach Ford. I mean, what percentage do you think is um, makes up the entire match just on serving? Uh, I, I tell my girls that they, they need to be serving at a bare minimum of 85 to 90 percent clip. Uh, I mean, if you're if you're not getting them in, like it's just a free point, right? These teams are too good to give away free points. You've got to capitalize on every mistake your opponent's making. Harrison with the point there. Another big hit, one of many in this match. 12-8, Dunbarton. Just out. Just outside by the looks of it. Point to the Spartans. Serving number three, Kiara Rainford with her second serve. Listen here, Coach Ford, the control on some of these hits. A lot of them have a lot of top spin, and they're, they're well in. They're, they're diving down, and if the girls aren't playing them, it's an automatic point. Yeah, they're, they're going into these hits with eyes wide open, looking for these empty, uh, empty holes in the court. You know, and, and right, oh, fantastic defense. Incredible palm dig right there to keep the rally alive. A little Harrison long there from Harrison. But I mean, she showed that on her previous hit, right? She's been killing it all day, but you know, she went for the little tip and really almost found the hole, but fantastic defense prevented that. Marin Petrie for the Titans. Serving 14-9 Bishop Tonus. Well, unfortunate double hit, but these things happen when you're playing hard and you gotta try to make it making an aggressive play out of nothing. And another point for the Titans, 16-9 now, guys. I also love the pace of play right now, really quick on either side. Both teams getting right at it, and another timeout called. Yeah, we got our second and final timeout here for Dunbarton. Uh, you know, good timing because at this point, you know, that really one, two more points, this set is pretty much over, right? This is too much of a, really too much of a deficit to probably overcome. I mean, at this stage right now, there's still a chance, but a couple more points, and that's probably too big of a mountain to climb. But, uh, you know, again, you're, you're telling your girls to keep fighting and and ignore the scoreboard. Every point at a time is the only way you're going to get back into this thing. Well, a seven-point deficit. We saw that earlier in the match, and they overcame it. Uh, we still have nine more points to win this game. As we know, anything can happen in a provincial championship like this. Absolutely, and the seven point is you know, not necessarily an inevitable, um, you know, an inevitable deficit to overcome. But at this stage in the in the match. You know, it's a little bit different than it was when it was 8-1 or 7-1, whatever the previous score was. You know, 16 to nine, time's running out real quick. But it's not over, but uh, you definitely need to shut this, this momentum down right here.
solid rally right here. And like we've seen before, right after the timeout, you're going to see the ball go back to the Spartans, which is exactly what they wanted. And that's been a running theme throughout this match so far. Yep, giving them a chance here. I mean, really, you get the next two points, and it's a whole new set. It's now in the captain's hands again, Ava Voss. There's that free ball. Let's see what the Spartans can do. By the big block by number 10. Haven't seen that many times this game, Harrison. Usually putting those through, getting blocked that time. Now, Ball Ava back. Connelly, when she's up there, she's well over seven feet. Well, when, uh, I, the coach for Tonos, I'm sure he's probably uh, looking at his lineup card and at the start of the set, trying to maximize his defense by getting Connolly in that front row at the same time as Harrison. Um, that, that extra extra height on that block is phenomenal. And really, if you're going to stop Harrison, you're going to need all of that uh, all of that height that she has. That height, but that agility. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, really, just the coordination. And, you know, it's not just as simple as getting up high. You need to get your hands in the right position as well. Great dig there. Cam, are you familiar with the energy and the other events that you've done so far in, in, your, in your career? This is this is right up there. I mean, I'm trying to wonder which team is uh, perhaps more represented here today, but the noise is really loud on both sides. Energy level fantastic as well as it should be for the gold medal game. Go-to girl, number four, Emma Sakan, makes it a 10-point spread. This is an excellent reply from Tonos after that first set. I mean, you know, they're controlled this set from start to finish, and we had another miss hit here by Dunbarton, and, you know, if I'm the Dunbarton coach, I'm, you know, I, I'm conceding this set, I get it, this one's over, but you start to think about, all right, what, can I, what am I going to tell these girls in between the, uh, the sets to get them back straight again for that third set? Got to think so far, this is a massive confidence boost for the Titans after that first set, knowing they can come back, they can hold a lead, they can build that lead, and now can they close it out? That's the next test. Well, point for Dumbarton Spartans. And, and Tonos, Bishop Tonos, they're okay in this situation. They're quite content to just trade point by point. We well, you know one after the other is obviously going to lead to a victory in this set for them. They just want to make sure that this does not go on an extended run. And as you see, we just get the, uh, the side out there. And it's uh, once again, the lead's back up to 10. And it comes full circle. Ava Connolly back serving again. And that's an ace right there. A couple different Spartans thought about it. We've all been there. Seems to be the fan favorite here. Ava Connolly, but unfortunately an unforced error. Two points from closing out the second set and evening up this game, this match. And just like that, we are set point. Bishop Tonus Titans looking to make amends for that first set and tie things up at 124 to 13. And the serve is over. There's the free ball. Let's see what the Titans can do. A massive block right there. Not pass number seven. Sydney McDermott. And they're going to have to play an obvious, flawless game from here on in. Keeping this game alive, point by point. That's it. 
And that's going to do it right there. We are locked at one again. And the matches earlier today, both teams took it down 3 0, 3 0. So a little uncharted waters for, uh, for both teams right now. We're tied 1 1. Yeah. And I believe Coach Ford called it because we're going to get our money's worth today. He is not wrong about that. And he is headed over to uh, grab another interview in between this set. So we will let you know when that's coming. Also, both these teams, first time in an OFSA gold medal game. According to our archival search, this would be a, a first for both teams. Good opportunity again to, to thank some more of our sponsors. Georgian College uh, was very generous in helping here. Uh, Tim Hortons Berry on Dunlop Street, and of course, uh, the Simcoe Muskoka Catholic District School Board and the Simcoe County District School Board with providing the home of uh, all four days at Maple Ridge Secondary School, Bear, Bear Creek Secondary School, St. Joseph's Catholic High School, and of course, here, home of the gold medal match, St. Joan of Arc High School. Now, Tim, you've seen a lot of uh, people Tuff coming in out of these doors over two. the last week. Fantastic and, uh, effort you know, coming just out talk of the gates about all those teams. What do you got to do to get your momentum Ford back for the next set? And, uh, we really just listen. gotta play our game. We were kind of scrambling. Uh, I think we kind of lost a little bit of confidence, but I think we can definitely bring it back. Your team has showed incredible power at the net. Uh, I mean, girls hitting it out of the gym here. Um, really, you know, uh, what kind of um, what kind of practice routine do you have to, to get these girls in such incredible, uh, you know, conditioning and just the power is it, it, unbelievable. Funny enough, we actually use um, a, a board. So any time when we're setting up attacks, we'll attack it off of a board and try to be prepared for that ball to come right back to us. Same with we'll just throw it off of a board, and it's the same as if it was like a tip. The girls stay ready. So we're be re we've really been working on that coverage. Uh, whatever you're doing is working. Congratulations making here the gold medal match. Good luck for the rest of the way. When I was in high school, my team felt like a family. We were a family. We did everything together. It wasn't just drills and early practices. It was everything in between. We had so much fun, and it was our coaches who made it happen. Now I'm coaching, and I see myself in my team. They're learning, working hard, and building their own friendships, just like I did. That's why I coach. And welcome back to the 2023 Offs of Triple A Girls Volleyball Championship Gold Medal Game third set here at St. Joan of Arc High School between the Dunbarton Spartans from Pickering and Bishop Tonus Titans from Ancaster, Cam Brown, Tim Hassanak, Chris Ford. This has been a wild one to watch so far. Ups, downs, and all the rounds, I guess you could say. And, uh, Amazing. 1-1 one, one right now going to the third set. Looking forward to get this uh, third set on the go. We're getting our money's worth. Every penny watching the best volleyball in Ontario on the high school, high school volleyball. Curious to see if we're going to get, uh, just like the first two sets, uh, uh, a strong run, or are we going to open up with a bit more of a, you know, back and forth effort here? Service by the seven, the number 17, Lael Harrison. Point to the Spartans. Notice after that first point, the Spartans, I don't know, a little extra excited, maybe really just to rock this third set. And come out strong here, because they've fallen behind twice now. Harrison has that knuckle that's tough for anybody, but number six, Abby Smith, puts it down the left side to get the first point of the third set for the Bishop Tonus Titans. Abby Smith with the serve. All right, Dunbarton comes back. Number 
Number 24, Emma Cameron saying, it's my turn. here. Oh. There's that little cheeky swipe on the two ball by the center. Harrison was down, couldn't quite get to that ball. You could see the frustration on her face thinking, ah. It's a great momentum killer. I mean, that, uh, you know, it, it, it's such a, such a change of pace. Ava Connolly. Unfortunately, unforced error there. A few serving wo uh, woes last couple times for Connolly. Uh, she's been a little bit jittery the last little bit. Well, who wouldn't be in a gold medal match? You can't blame her. For Opsa. And Great touch by number three, Kiara Rainford. It's one of the first times we've called Rainford's name, uh, but it's great to see, you know, other girls contributing as well. Like, this is, this is not a one-woman team. There's a reason why they're in the gold medal match. They're very deep. Again, that unforced there by Sarah Lung, number 10. A little tighter here at the start of our third set than we had in our first two, which is uh, really, I think, going to be a sign of things to come. Yeah, that one's going out of bounds, so fantastic serve right there by number nine. Vea Mega. Big hit right there, but was that touch? They're going to the referee. Mm, we're calling no touch here. From our uh, from our vantage point, I thought I saw a touch, but obviously again I the referees I did too. Mary Petrie yeah. wanted it. it she was like a touch to me, but referees are in a better position than we are, so we'll we'll give it to them on that one. Head referee Shannon Walters from Milton, Ontario. Sydney McDermott with the serve. She's with the UPS Corporation. Shout out to UPS. She's here to deliver. Sorry on that one. And number four, Emma Sukan, serving it up. And what you wouldn't think would be a difficult serve to handle, unable to be brought back by the Dumbarton Spartans. That one just about took a bunch of water bottles off the bench right there and deadlocked things up at six. Oh, nice play right there to keep things rolling. Free ball. A huge hit, Abby Smith on the left like, side. Like a lot of free balls, it's coming back at you hard. Well, we said that a few times this match. Harrison with an uncontested hit right there. Spartans with the ball back. Sometimes you think there's more than one Harrison. Sure seems that way. She seems to be in on most of these plays. And another point for the Spartans as they reclaim the lead up now 8-7. A little error by Tonos there in the over hit. And, uh Ready to scoop it up and take advantage, of course, was Dunbarton. Cassie Kozak serving that one. Haven't mentioned her name much in this gold medal final, but looking to add on a few points here. As Harrison will give her another opportunity to serve again with another hit. Another Dunbarton's able to get through that block. Another point for Harrison. Kozak, nice serve, almost eats up a couple. For number three, contributing oh, to this match. 
And just in, called by it. the linesman, call and share. Beautiful back row attack there. McDermott has been dominant this game, both serving. In the net play, Kozak with the serve. Look out. Abby Smith gets it back. Great answer the there by Smith. The vibration of that hit by Abby Smith, I can feel it back here. Just a little bit of miss. Oh! I thought that would have been four hits, but uh, a little bit of miscommunication, obviously. A lot of us were thrown off on that one. The Dun uh, Bishop Tonus Titans, they actually stopped. They thought the point was over. Dun Barton didn't give up. They definitely thought it was over. Ava Connolly at the net started laughing, looking at her teammates. She, they thought the play was dead. Yeah, you gotta have fun. to get that one back by the unforced error by the captain, Ava Voss. It does not happen very often. Marin touches and point to the start. by Harrison in the 17, the 13th point, 13-9, Dumbarton Spartan. Not really much you can do there. No, the unlucky, ball coming off unlucky. the net. You get, you get those tape balls off the top of the net, and I mean, it, it's, uh, it's a crapshoot where that thing is going to bounce off to. You know, you sometimes see them roll all the way down the other side of the court across that net. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's unfortunate, but hey, it's part of the game. Well, I mean, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but again, a lot of this is just mental. I mean, there's really not a lot of technical uh, coaching you can do at this point. These guys have had a long season. They've heard it a hundred times. So it's just it's just trying to instill the confidence in this point because really you're looking across this net and you're looking at an equally as good a team as you are. But of course, you know, you know that you have the ability to do it as well. And two juggernauts just competing here. And this is, uh, you know, you're, you're just trying to get that team with that belief and you know, that uh, really the the hot spot to keep on going. Right, really that, that mental strategy. As we know, the volleyball is such a mental game. I mean, a lot of these girls have the skill and the power, but it's who can win it in between the years that sometimes brings up the champions. Yeah, as much as you sometimes would like a robot, they're, you know, they've got the emotions. You need to, you need to key into that. Harrison, another powerful serve. Great dig by Harrison. A huge hit right there, didn't quite see who hit it, but. Massive hit, and the Spartans with the serve, Harrison. Beautiful serve once oh. again, right over the net. Just like that, the Titans get back. play there by MAGA. Yeah, Avea MAGA, I mean, she's doing her best out there to make Ancaster great again. Nobody saw that coming. No, that, that's a I great line. T-shirts already being made. Again, right. Sydney McDermott. We've seen that once or twice. Sorry, Tim, go ahead. These are some of the hardest hit shots I've seen today in this gym. And rightfully so. So the gold medal game. And just as you say that, a little bit of finesse from Ava Connolly with a soft touch. Yeah, Connolly, like you said, with the finesse touch there, found the perfect opening. Ava Connolly, the serve. Deep 
to Libero. Ariana Crowley. Oh, unfortunate mistake there by Connolly. And, you know, she's an incredible volleyball player, but really you don't want your middle taking that second ball. And she unfortunately showed you why, right? You, you, you want to get them out of the way as much as possible on that number two. Oh, beautiful serve right there. Tried to handle it. it. Was Abby Smith, couldn't quite. So now six point lead for the Spartans here in the third set. That was a tough one right off the knuckles there. Sarah Long, she's been impressive all day with her serving. Very methodical in her approach. All right, number four. Emma Sukan way through the block. I think somebody might have a jam finger up for that one. Uh, Sukan's a little bit of a silent assassin out there. I mean, she shows no emotion whatsoever, but just stoic, you know, stone faced and just a bit of a killer. You always want one of those on your team. Uh, I say Coach Spalding's timeout seems to help. Titans going on a bit of a run here, down by four. 17-13 for the Spartans. Nice serve right there. Perfect location once again for Rainford. Great call, great eye there by the Tonos Libero, recognizing that that serve was going long. Great depth perception judgment there by the Titans. Really an interesting sort of thing you don't see very often. You've got Libero actually replacing Libero uh, right there in this last, on this last point. Uh, you know, they've obviously, Tonos worked out some kind of a system where they've got uh, well, the one Libero, you know, preferring to play the, uh, the right side and the other one's coming over on the left side. Huge hit right there by Marin Petrie. Both teams kind of trading points right now, but Spartans able to maintain that five to six point advantage as they are now at the 20 point mark. In the game, number five, Canyon Llewellyn. Well, that's unfortunate for Tonos. I wanted to see that, you know, that girl serve again. That was a beautiful jump serve. Captain Ava Laws. And the reach by number 10, Ava Carly. And it looks like the Titans are going to get that one as well. So they've now pulled it within four. Spartans, one more point. You could say they're on their heels trying to maintain that advantage here in the third set. Nice serve by Petrie. And now with the bump to start things off. Big hit right there. Ava Connolly, right place. Connolly, again. I mean, they get that ball to the middle of the there's not too many people you can stop it because sometimes you can hit that right over the no, ball. She doesn't need to really get up at you all to put it over. Her. Yeah, you got to keep feeding her. She's going to be an integral part going forward. Lead now at three for the Spartans. Another great serve by Petrie. There's Harrison. Ooh. Harrison. 
hard. Yeah, hard, hard, hard fall there. Let's hope she's okay. I mean, we do, we want to see this match with her in it, uh, regardless of who the victor is. Let's hope she get a good, smart time out here by her coach, making sure she's okay. Yeah, she's getting off the. We saw one earlier injury today that put the athlete out of the game. From the Franco C. Kate, star player number six. She ended up not being able to play the bronze medal match after hitting the post just like that. Yeah, that was a bit of a hard fall, but I mean, I, I think she's going to be okay. She looks, she's still standing here on the sideline, uh, not really looking for any medical attention. I thought I saw her hit her head, but looks like she's all right. Looks like she's all right indeed. Slow to get up, but was able to get back into the rally, and now a two point game as the Titans. Sneaking back in here. Well, as we look back at the old. Let's, uh, while we have this time, let's reach out to our sponsors. Again, uh, Duncan Drywall, Georgian Home Comfort, Cutting Edge, Collective, and Ontario Educational Catholic Teachers Association, and Western Mechanical for your continued support in the Grills AAA Officer Championship. We have the Dunbarton Spartans 21, Bishop Connell's Titans 19 in a tough, hard play third match, third set of the gold medal match. Marin Petrie, she's been serving for a while now. This was a six point lead, now down to one. Titans looking to deadlock it once again. Huge hit, Sydney McDermott. Back to the Spartans. Right place at the right time there, and a great call by number 24, Emma Cameron, to just dump it over. And now Harrison with the serve. 24, Emma Cameron with that point. And there's Harrison with the serve. Now and two surprising, she scores a point. And two points away now. Spartans inching ever closer to that 2-1 match advantage. Fitting that Harrison will be serving right now after that hard fall a few moments ago. She's been dominant all game. And now one point away from that second set. But it's not over. Uh, great setup to Connolly there. Titan still with some life in the second set. Down three. Set point. And that's going to do it as the Dunbarton Spartans take the second set. This gold medal final against the Bishop Tonus Titans. That was a close one. First two guys, kind of a game of runs. That one there, kind of back and forth. But the Spartans were able to hang on with the advantage they had and take it home. Yeah, absolutely, Gary. I mean, hey, this is uh, like we said at the start. I don't think this is not going to end in three or four. And, you know, I, I think we're going five sets here. And, you know, we couldn't ask. For I remember the tournaments, the championships, the ride to road games when you forget you're a high school student for a while. But now I'm behind the bench. I'm picking up new things from my students. There's so much you can learn on the field that you simply can't learn in the classroom. I look at my students, the joy on their faces, and that's why I coach.
the friendships we formed, the character we built. That's what I remember. I don't want to be just that guy with the clipboard and whistle. I want to inspire my students, like my parents and coaches did for me. I still look up to them, and I want to be that positive force in my students' lives. That's why I coach. Irving and ran the ball back in, and she's taking a breather on the sideline. Looks like number 13 for the Titans. Number 13, I think that's Corley Muko getting her first serve of the game. And the Tonos has done that a couple times today. You know, the, she's uh, the young lady there. She's kind of like the designated server. She's got a fantastic serve. That one obviously was a little bit long, but she's come in a few times for Conley and, uh, and hit that serve. Nice ups right there, Emma Sukan with the hit. 3-2 Titans early on. You feel the momentum in this building on both sides. Constant buzz in the gym. A little, little air there on Dumbarton Spartan. Nice attempt by Rainford on the quick. Just timing was a little bit off. Number nine, Avea Mega, puts that one into the net, ball back. 
to the Spartans and Sierra Leone. I'm gonna try and tie this one up. I was really hoping for an ace there by MAGA. I think you might know why. Making aces great again. Great save by the Spartans. All right, couldn't overcome the tenacity of the Titans. Just bodies hitting the floor all over the place. That's what you want to see. You know, if you're not, if you're going home without a cut or a bruise, did you play hard enough? I really think that condition is going to be a big factor in this game. We're at a three-day long tournament. We're in the gold medal game. We're in the fourth set of maybe five sets. We know these girls are getting tired. Oh, start to finish, that point was absolutely incredible there from the Dermot is here to wake things up. Harrison with a nice hit, nice double block right there. And that is in. Great location once again. Titans. 7-4 early on here in the fourth set. 2-1 Spartans. The eighth seed with the serve. That had a ton of sink on it from this angle. That serve was on quite the line. Oh. Emphatic. Emphatic yep. hit right there. Watching that. That was pretty phenomenal. Sonic boom in my ear is still ringing. And go figure, number 17, Harrison, after killing the last one with a big block right there. In under a minute, a huge spike and a huge block for Harrison. Sometimes at home on the video feed, I mean, it's really hard to to, you know, sort of appreciate the power, the power that these hits are coming with. I mean, it's, it's just phenomenal to watch. Beautiful nice block. block there by Mega. Ava Voss with the block. Getting a little redemption from a minute ago as Harrison was going for another one. She stopped her that time. On that particular play, Maga trumped her at the net. <laughs> I promise I'm going to stop. Shot called in by Lionsman Colin Cher. No doubt about that one. I have to shout out to our ball boys here at St. John of Arc. They're members of the Ops of Participating Team St. John of Arc Knights who participated this fall in 2020 in Kingston, Ontario. They're here supporting great volleyball. And once again, we've got Tornos. You know, they are not giving up this, uh, this tenacity, this, you know, this, this streak that they can keep going on. It's phenomenal. Taking a look back at the last gold medal champion at the AAA Offset Girls Volleyball Tournament. Again, 2020, Dr. Frank J. Hayden School from Chatham. Hey, shout out to Dr. Frank. Shout out to Chatham. Well, I believe that the site was in Chatham, their account. Oh, the I'm sorry. That's right. Hamilton, you uh, are correct. The I'm old GHAC. Greater Hamilton, yeah. I'm from the area, and that's a new school because I've never heard of it. Well, Dr. Frank, uh, Dr. Frank earned it. Well, there you go. Shout out to uh, Mitchell Clear and Billy Rowe, the head coaches of that gold medal team. 
dating back to 2020. We all know what happened after that, and we are all really glad to be here watching this incredible volleyball matchup right now here in 2023. Petrie with the serve. Great backboard hit. The elevation Sydney McDermott had on that, she got up real high before she struck that ball. People don't often appreciate just the, the sheer athleticism of volleyball players. I mean, whether it's men or women, they are truly some of the best athletes in any professional sport. Uh, you know, they, they have the height of of professional basketball players, but yet they've got the coordination of, you know, <laughs> of a more intricate, say, specialized sport like, uh, you know, archery or something like that. Like, just the strength and athleticism is phenomenal. We'll see you some athletes. As the block was deflected out of bounds, so closing the gap are the Spartans. Down just three now. 11 to eight here in the fourth set. Great serve. Okay. Nine serving 11. Not Barton, Spartan. With the ball. Oh. Ooh, yes, correct call, correct call. It was a little bit of a late call, but uh, the hit from Harrison definitely hit the antenna, uh, which is deemed as, as being out. Hitting the antenna there, Coach, Coach Ford is deemed out? Yes, correct, correct. Hence the point to the Titans. Abby Smith with the serve. <laughs> Wonderful back set there to Harrison. Of course to Harrison. She's now gonna take the helm and she's serving for Dunbarton Spartan. Harrison, consistent as ever with the serve, but unable to be dug out right there by Ava Voss. And great, a four point. Yeah, great placement there by Connolly. Substitution for Ali Muko in the serve for Ava Connolly. This has been the traditional move during this game by Coach Mega. Double touch. Tough call by the official, calling the left. From this angle, that serve looked to be sailing off to the left. Harrison elected to give it a try. Had to jump to put it back in play. Ball back to the Titans. Five point lead, 15 10. Nice serve right there. Great serve. Huge hit. Sydney McDermott once again. So much power behind that swing.
Every point so crucial right now. Harrison starting off this rally. A bit long from the right side. Back to back, uh, back to back swings there for the right side player. Good, good news from Dun for Dunbarton Sakam playing over on the left side on the power. She's uh, she's got some great height to her, so she's up there for the blocks and uh, to alter the hits. Yeah, mishandle there. A bit of a mishandle, and this set is really quickly getting out of hand. Uh, and once again, good timing for a timeout for Coach Spalding. But really, really seven point deficit. This is getting into that crunch point once again. Really reminiscent of that second set right now when the Titans got a bit of a lead later in the set. They were confident and, and were able to take it all the way to, to take that set. Right now another timeout called, seven point lead. Playing with some confidence right now. And another appropriate timeout, timeout with the 18-11 for the Titans. And I think we saw the same situation in the third set. I think the score was almost identical to this, to be honest, Absolutely. yeah. Opposite way around, but uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> again, we can't say it enough. Uh, the resiliency here by, uh, really by both clubs, but by Tono specifically, are down two sets to one. You know, it, it's winner go home. It's winner go home at this point, and they're looking to push this to a decisive fifth set tiebreaker. Absolutely. Winner go home, but the winner the champion. Yep. And there's not too many teams that finish the season. Yep. It's still a loss. Yep. And the one that finishes with the win is deemed the champion here at the girls' AAA Officer Championship, Barry, Ontario. <laughs> Avaya Mega, number nine, with our second serve. Nice touch right there by McDermott to get the ball back. Nice body control there, right? Kind of a uh, stopped in midair matrix style, and you know, put that over with a just little uh, with a little tip. She had me out of my shoes on that one. And the Spartans again playing from behind. Again, they are up two sets to one, but also in familiar territory with a bit of a deficit right now. Down six, 19-13. Bit of a hill to climb. What a rally, phenomenal. Great action back and forth there by both teams. And I just want to say those last two serves by Sarah, those were scrapers. Those just barely crossed the net and had great topspin. Just incredibly difficult to put back up. It's another serving error. Yeah, just going back to those serves by Sarah, I was going to say the same thing. Just absolute lasers coming over the net. So kudos to the Titans for at least getting one of those back right there. 20 to 14 now. And McDermott. Great serve by McDermott. Abby Smith trying to put that one away, and she does. Back to the Titans, Alyssa Saravac. Trying to get her Titans one point closer to 25. And to lock things up in the gold medal game. Easy call right there for the Spartans. Yeah, that one was again another miss hit. We're, we're seeing a little bit of uh, a little bit mistakes making here on, on, on the serving. Um, you know, which is a little bit out of character for both these clubs. I mean, obviously the high level they've been showing all tournament, but uh, hey, <laughs> their bodies are tired and their minds are are physically, you know, and mentally exhausted here. Right. 
outside the antenna. It might have been hard for you to see that at home, but that, uh, that last hit outside the antenna, which obviously is deemed out. Back hit. Oh, that ball's in. Right, that ball's in. Now 17, I think Connolly's been relying on that chip shot a little too much. She is an incredible hitter with incredible power up there. I mean, she gets so high. I want to see her swinging, right? You've, you've got a little bit of leeway here. You know, that, that power is going to, even if they get a blocker up on it, there's a good chance that ball's going out. Uh, she's got to take advantage of those sets. This crowd coming alive more than other family, friends, all coming up from Ancaster, coming up from Pickering. Likely some hanging around from earlier with all the other teams and coming through the building here. So it's it's a raucous crowd. Coach Four, you're talking about those tips, but as you know, at this level, when there's a free ball, it's going to be coming back at you pretty hard. Yeah, free. If Free balls, you got to avoid those things like the plague at this point. These teams are too good. You need to swing. You need to get the hits. Now, there's nothing wrong with a perfectly placed or a roll shot. I mean, obviously, sometimes those are just as, uh, just as crucial. But really, go down swinging. Just like that, coming back out of the timeout. Harrison with the hit. And the call net is violation. good on that one. Wow. I believe we had another net violation there. Uh, by the coach, but by the referee, but by Rick Bianco. There's substitution coming up here for Tonos. Couple questions posted by the Titans. And good communication. The referee answers their question. A two point match. Two point match. This is uh, getting tight. Well, these Spartans are pumped up right now. It was Cassie Kozak, her reaction after that point right there. They want this back. Oh, and that uh, is what that, I have been waiting for. You kidding that me? That is what I've been waiting that for. Awesome. That's time, and yeah, every, all, obviously the first, the first pass, the set have all got to be in perfect spot, but that's phenomenal. That's what we want to see. Nobody was getting that one. Straight down. Perfect timing. And the serve by Marion Petrie. Harrison, nice touch. Abby Smith with a nice hit. Great dig. Smart play there by the Spartans. Found that open hole, center of the court there for that light tip to score the 20th point and make this a two-game set. I'm going with the middle attack here once again, right back to Connolly. Two-point set, correct myself. Here it comes. Great job by. Yeah. We saw the Connolly hit, but hey, the Spartans are up to the task. Phenomenal job of getting up there for the block. Connolly kept that alive for a minute. But now one point away, the Spartans from tying this up, they can taste gold. Only four points away for them right now. If they can hold this. Huge point right there at this point in the match. The butterflies on these players and coaches right now must just be incredible. Butterflies in this commentator table. You said it. Oh, no doubter right there. Beautifully hit by Sarah Leung. And now Harrison's going to be serving. To yeah. I mean, deservedly so, Harrison gets a lot of the attention, but Sarah Leung, she is absolutely fantastic. That's a costly one, uncharacteristic right there. Unexpected by number 17, Harrison. Most important point of the match right now, Ava Connolly. Looking for the set win. 
McDermott, massive hit. And that's going to be good for the Spartans. This set has been wild, guys. The pressure right now on these girls, phenomenal. Pressure on the server. You know, you just want to get this thing over the net. Yeah, she took something off that, and I don't blame her. Oh, unfortunate Tough one time. Handle right there. Yep. For those not uh, familiar with the game, you have to win by two points uh, on any set. So next point does not win. Uh, it is a, a two. You have to win by two points. Just talked about that intensity level and the nerves right now at its peak. 24-24. Spartans. Knocked back right there. What a hit. No surprise, Emma Sakan. I think she's asking for the ball. I'm impartial, but man, I really hope we got another fifth set coming here. Harrison puts it over. We got it. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, fill out your lineup cards because we are going five. The number eight seed taking the number one to five sets. This has been an incredible gold medal match. What else could you ask for between yeah. these two teams? You really can't. This is going. Down to the wire, this next set, you would imagine, will be the same. This is how you want it to go down if you're a fan of volleyball. Well, I think about two hours ago, I think I called five sets. <laughs> I'll give you that. You definitely did. Yeah, yeah. Four definitely said that, and I was like, I'm right with you because I want to watch five sets yeah. for this type of volleyball. This is incredible. I hope everyone at home is enjoying this and uh, appreciating the effort these girls are putting in. It's just uh, unbelievable. I do love the insight, you know, when, when you talk about, you know, what are the coaches talking about right now? What are the girls talking about? And one of the cool things to, to think about is, I mean, they are currently, whether it's, it's obvious or not, making memories for their entire life. I mean, uh, you know, I, I never competed at, at a level like this in, in any sort of sport, but I know people that have, and these are lifelong memories they are in the middle of making. What are they thinking about right now in the fifth set? Uh, I, I'm so glad that you, are, that you mentioned that because one of my – uh, one, of, one of my big sayings to my players, whether it be here in the volleyball court or on the football field, is I tell my kids, make a memory. Because there is nothing in your life, you know, for many of these girls quite like high school sports. Uh, you know, we are all getting a little older, a little grayer up here, and, and I guarantee all three of us can remember exactly, you know, these incredible moments from our high school careers 20, 30 years ago. Uh, you know, th those memories you make with your teammates and and, and there's, no, there's no bigger peak, there's no bigger memory that could be made than a gold medal at the AAA Voss, uh, Vossa level. This is, you know, this is just incredible. And it's, uh, you know, these, these fans are getting, getting their money's worth, that's for sure. Yeah, this is the pinnacle of high school volleyball, that's for sure, in this province. So this has it's been an absolutely epic matchup. And a lot of these girls graduating this year will be moving on. You know, you got the grade 11 girls that'll be back, but this uh, very well said. And, and, you know, Cam, many of them, these girls are moving on to, to play volleyball. Absolutely. Whether it be at the college or the university level. Some of these girls are probably heading south on scholarships. But I guarantee you, even with those successes that they're going to have at those next levels, they will remember this match. They will remember this match. And, and really, which team right now has the mental, you know, the mental fortitude to hold this? Because the nerves have got to be exceptional. You know, we're heading into this fifth set, and once again, this is a this is a set up to 15 points. It's not your typical 25. It's a 15-point tiebreak set. And like you said, with high school sports, it's a great opportunity for these athletes to not just play with other great athletes, but to play with their friends in the school. And they go back, and the, the social atmosphere that's created by competing for your school and the recognition that they get is really like no other. Yeah. Because when you have thousands of athletes who go through. You know, high school program, the amateur program, how many really get the chance to play professionally? Very few. So for all these girls, this is the show for them. The, the bond that they're creating right now is a bond. I mean, you've got girls from all different walks of life here who may be in a different setting, might not be the closest of friends, might not be someone that they would hang out with on a weekend or a nighttime, but they are creating a bond here that uh, will never be broken.
Once again, this gold medal match being hosted at St. Joan of Arc High School here in Barrie, Ontario. That'll be a memory they'll remember as well. It's been a fantastic host for this entire tournament. First point for the Titans. I remember some of your memories. Cam Brown was a student of mine, and some of the memories of you being in the, in the music. Grade class. nine business. Grade nine business. I remember Grade that business. class well. How old are you, Tim? That's right. How old so. are you? <laughs> Stay tuned for the post game to find that out, <laughs> folks. You're going to want to stick around. It's, it's a wild number. Harrison going for the massive hit. Quick 2 0 lead for the Titans. Can't be overstated how important every single point is in this fifth and final set between these two teams right now. You said it well a minute ago. A 3 nothing start. I mean, it can't be overstated in these short sets how important a quick start is. Uh, this 3 nothing lead is much more magnified in this quick 15-set tiebreaker as opposed to a 25-point set. I was going to say, you mentioned mental fortitude a minute ago. So crucial here. Because ability-wise, we've seen both teams going back and forth, but which team can really calm the nerves, so to speak, and rise to the occasion? Quick, important time out here by Coach Spaulding. She's got to get these girls' heads uh, screwed on a little bit tighter here. Uh, they can't let down. We're seeing some mental... Ignite your athletes. Empower your coaches. Rally your community. Support every team with one solution with the Huddle Athletic Department Package. You put all your school's coaching tools under one roof. From recording to analyzing to sharing, with your Huddle AD Package, you cover every angle. Equal access means equal opportunity. And equal opportunity means full potential. Let's take your department to the next level. The favor of those calling it. So we'll see if uh, if that applies here again. They've been very effective in this entire. Mm -hmm. time. Can we play a best of seven? I don't want this to end. You've ordered pizza, right? Yes. It's on yes. Its way? Yeah. Great, Great defense. Of the barrel. McDermott, oh, huge hit right there. Couldn't quite see at the line ref, but saw the trajectory of that ball coming over. Five nothing. Not sure anybody saw this as a start to the fifth set. Old Mo is with the team that always wins the fourth set. It is so hard to overcome that. Okay. Mistakes by the server, Abby Smith. Played amazing today as well, just like all these playoffs. Off the block, number four, Emma Sikant. And again with Harrison in the back row, perfect timing here to try to, really to pretty much try to end this match. You know, you don't want to let her get a chance to get back up into that front row. Eva Connolly with the serve, and that is out right there. You wonder how much of a factor she'll be in this fifth set. We saw some of those incredible swings in the fourth set. If they can put her in position to do so. She's mad at herself, Eva Connolly, in that serve. The competitor that she is. But her teammate. Emma Sakan. Sakan, the silent assassin, like I said earlier. Just incredible. Sakan can. Yeah, she's got a smile this time. Not so silent right there, laying out a huge scream at the end of that hit, and rightfully so. The ball was kind of sailing on McDermott as she was looking to hit it and just kind of kept sailing, put her out of position, and an 8-2 start. We're at the midway point here of the fifth set, so we get a change of sides. It's not a timeout. It'll be straight up, uh, straight onto the court, straight back into the action. First team eight points, and then they, they switch? Correct. Just first team eight points, you switch sides. Um, I mean, it's as a fifth set, it just ensures that both teams are playing equal amount on the uh, on either side of the court in case there's some kind of nat you know, natural sort of um, advantage based in the gym. It could be something in the way like a, 
uh, a basketball net or something like that. But uh, obviously here, there's no impediments like that. Why a mega to start that point? Abby Smith and, oh, sorry, Tim. Crucial couple points here for the Spartans. It's a rocket of a serve handled by Abby Smith. Oh. Nice dig to keep the ball alive. And McDermott puts it down with authority. This is collegiate level volleyball that we're watching here. I mean, I, I can hardly believe this is high school girls. These are just phenomenal athletes. Uh -oh. All by lines and Colin Chair. Almost a can with the serve. Tough to handle, off the ceiling. Fifth point for the Dumbarton Spartan, who's bouncing a little comeback here. Sydney McDermott looking to inch closer. This 9-5 deficit right now with the serve. Abby Smith, nice touch, and that's gonna go back to the Bishop Tonus Titans up 10-5 now, reaching double digits in this fifth set. Abby Smith saw that opportunity and banked it off the block so it was out for the point for the Titans. Yeah. 11 to five now, a little bit of a cross up. Looking at the body language and even the facial expressions of the Spartans right now, they, they're definitely on their heels. Yeah, and, and, and Quince, you know, sort of reverse of that. The Tonos, they can, they can feel it. They can smell this championship is right in reach. It's within their grasp, four points away. Spartans need this next point. They've got to eliminate this run. And I mean, really, like we said, it's it's coming down to this, uh, to the wire here, the final few points uh, of the, uh, the gold medal match. I mean, I'm not putting them out yet. I think they still have the ability to force this to go a little bit longer. Absolutely, the number eight ranked Bishop Tonos Titans. 11-5 lead, four points away from winning the girls' Triple-A Ops, a gold medal championship. But we can't put those Spartans away yet. As you mentioned earlier, in a field of 20 teams, incredibly impressive. The eight seed making it to the gold medal game, and now certainly with a chance to take their first ever gold medal for the school. Beautiful cross-court set right there. But Sukan unable to Harrison. corral that one. Oh, mistake there. Lack of communication, mental error, and then we are down to a four-point match. Yeah, that ball just sailed behind Ava Connolly, not with a ton of speed on it either. She just wasn't looking. And she turned around to her teammates right away and said, my bad, that was me. Tough one to handle by number one, Katie Malarchuk. Nice dig. Connolly looking to redeem herself on that one. There won't be le much left on this court. What oh, incredible save. play. Two Titans on the ground. And Harrison takes advantage with a massive smash.
Got to get a timeout. I think you're 100% on timeout calls in this game and so far. Uh, you just, you, you're just going to feel them. You, feel right? they're, they're, you, you sense where, yeah, I mean, you got to make them last. You only have 2%, but you, you feel that, that momentum just slipping away, and you need something to stop it because right now that confidence level is, it's, you know, it's going through the roof right now for the Spartans. Listen to this crowd. Yeah, this, is, this is incredible. This is Thomas Titans for the Dumbarton Spartans in the fifth set of his gold medal match. Got dual. Oh, as I was say, sorry, it's hard to even hear. Uh, it's so loud in the gym right now, but some dual chants going on Spartans, Titans. And the crowd competing with themselves as well as this one gets closer to a finish. These girls are leaving it all on the court here. There's that play by Connolly. You've got to go back to that well. Keep going back to that well for the next three points. I'm not setting anybody else. I'm going to live and die by that middle quick to Connolly. Never Point say die. Spartans. This is not over, ladies and gentlemen. Number nine, Ava Voss with the serve. Down three are the Spartans, who were up 2-1 in this gold medal match, now in the fifth set. Swing and a miss right there, Kennedy Llewellyn. And Sarah Long with the cross-court hit to give number nine, the captain, Ava Voss, the opportunity to get this to a one-point game. Abby Smith with her second big hit of that rally right there. And what a rally it was. Back to a three-point lead for the Titans right now. Abby Smith, she's been a little bit unheralded in this match, but she's come up big at these crucial moments, and, you know, nothing bigger than that swing that she just had right there. Very consistent all-match. Great serve. Wow, right to Harrison. Off-balance shot. And they keep it alive. Connolly with the block, yeah, using kind of all of that six foot three frame. Abby Smith serving for the gold championship medal. point. Provincial championship for the Ontario Federation of Secondary School Athletics. Every single point so crucial right now. You see it in the reactions of both teams after every point. There's another one. Look. Letting the, letting the crowd tell the noise or tell the scene right there. As the number eight seed, the Bishop Tonus Titans take it in five sets, 15 to 10. What an incredible performance. Down two sets to one. They come back to win the fourth set. Get up to a real quick lead in the fifth. In a great two hour match. And you know what? There wasn't. I wanted more. And that was fantastic. Well, as. Uh, Chris just mentioned a minute ago, can we do seven sets? Could we, I mean, that was just an incredible display to watch, a two-hour match to get through five sets.
Just a couple of quick thank yous. Uh, just thank you to our officiating team. You guys did an amazing job. Just thank you. A huge shout out to our live streaming crew. Thank you so much to all of our student volunteers. This would not have run without you. Thank you guys so much. A big thank you to all the fans that traveled here today all the way to Barrie. And a huge thank you to my Joan of Arc and St. Joe's uh, site conveners, Maggie Quinnell and Spencer Davio. Thank you so much. So first off, I'd like to congratulate Dunbarton on an incredible, incredible season. You guys should be so proud of yourself. So give it up for this year's silver medalist, Dumbarton. Congratulations, Dunbarton. And a huge congratulations to this year's OFSA gold medalist, the Bishop Tanos Titans. Number four, Emma Sue Kent. Number three, Alyssa Saravac. Number six, Abby Smith. Number one, Katie Malarchuk. Number 12, Eva Aleska. Number 41, Estelle Bust. Number eight, Olivia Solly. Number 13, Coralie Muko. Number seven, Marin Petrie. Number nine, Avea Mega. Number five, Kennedy Llewellyn. Number 10, our captain, Ava Connolly. <laughs> Assistant coaches, Miss Ann Howell. <laughs> Mr. Dennis Saravac. Congratulations, everyone, on attending this year's 20, uh, 2023 Offset Championship. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for traveling all the way to Barrie, and you guys all should be so proud of yourselves on an amazing season. Thank you so much.
Ava, I've got three words for you. Gold medal champion. I, I can't believe it. But like, I think that it's so important that we all worked really hard together. And it's been a fight the whole OFSA. And I think we battled. And every single person on this team contributes. And we work hard. And I think we deserve this. Tell me. that. I mean, the, the, the competition level from our from our vantage point was absolutely incredible, both obviously from your team and Dumbarton. Um, just, you know, give us a few words about your opponents today. They're incredible. I mean, we know these girls. We play against these girls. They have some big talent from Team Ontario, Team Canada, all that. And we knew we were going to have a challenge, but we knew that we also had the defensive force to stop them. And I think our serving runs and our offense really carried us today. I mean, you've got a team full of superstars. Uh, you know, in our announcer's point of view today, you kind of stood out as our MVP of the, of the game today. Your play in the middle was absolutely incredible. How much, how much practice goes into making those quicks? You know, the timing just absolutely perfect. For sure. No, Avea has been my setter my whole time I play volleyball. I honestly credit her with everything. Our connection's amazing. And I think that, like, obviously all the hard work really pays off. Our team practices a lot. I know Avea works hard. I work hard. We all work really hard. And when we were saying, Avea, she's making the Ancaster great again. Oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she just, phenomenal effort by all your team. La last question for you, just, you know, sum up, uh, what, what grade are you in? I'm in grade 12. You're grade 12. So this was, you know, more than likely your final high school volleyball game. Yeah. Sum up what your high school career has meant to you. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for anything else. I love being a Titan, even though it's really cheesy. I love this team, and I'm going to miss them so much, and I wish them all the best. I think they're going to be good for years to come. Congratulations. So Have a safe trip home. And once again, unbelievable Offsa gold medalist. Thank you. Well, that wraps it up here from St. Joan of Arc. Uh, once again, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, an incredible three days. We want to uh, thank all of our sponsors, all of our volunteers, all of the technicians behind the scenes, uh, you know, and, and of course, all these incredible athletes. Uh, this was the epitome of what high school sports should be. And you know, all of our viewers, we were treated to an incredible match today. So once again, on behalf of the announcing crew, I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Have a, uh, have a great night, and yeah, congrats to the, uh, to the Bishop Tonus Titans. <laughs>